Good everyone, all good video, and today we have a request by Owen Rommel, requesting a Russian aircraft. This sounds funny to say, I know. But um, he's requested the BS-180. Now, unfortunately, I've had to delay this one quite a bit. Mainly due to the event, and mainly due to the amount of use of Russian teams and team killers. Seems, no matter what, Russian players are just massive arseholes for the most part. And, let's put it this way. It's quite unlikely we're going to be having amazing games, but I'll do my best for Mr. Rommel. So the BS-180 is an event vehicle from a couple of years back, and it was probably one of the worst grinds I've ever had to do. If not the worst. And obviously you had the choice of, I believe there was a Russian boat, there was also a, I think there was a jet, and then there was the VFW, and a lot of people were telling me to go for the VFW, but I was like, no, I want the plane, and kind of glad I got the plane. The BS-180 is essentially what happened in IRL when the Russians were trying to improve the I-16, and for the most part, they got that done. However, the test pilot and the aircraft itself was not rated for aerobatic maneuvers. The pilot decided to attempt an aerobatic maneuver, and the aircraft crashed as a result, which gave this aircraft an awful reputation and subsequently was not entered into service and was merely a prototype. Kind of a sad ending because at the end of the day it wasn't really the plane's fault because it wasn't rated to do what the test pilot tried. At least this is information that I've been told. And it was kind of sad to learn about it because I think this plane could have been a terror IRL if it actually went into combat as the I-180, which is probably what it would have been under. But unfortunately, we only have War Thunder to find out how it would do in the game, and obviously the game does not give it the, shall we say, the proper flight model, which I would argue is complete BS, that's why we call it the BS-180. It climbs like a spit, it turns like a spit, it rolls like a 190 in most cases, and it dives like a Mustang in some situations. It really does get up and go. Now the guns are two 50 caliber Berez and UB machine guns with 220 rounds apiece, and we also have two 7.62 Shikas machine guns with 650 rounds each. We get a powerful, en well a pretty powerful engine to say this aircraft's lightweight. And subsequently we get good acceleration, a great climb, and pretty good speed at most altitudes. Now of course, against the Japanese, we're not going to be able to turn zeros. But against pretty much anything else we fight, we should be able to hold our cards. And with this thing being as powerful as it is, we might get focus, so we're going to have to do some fancy footwork. But, like I say, I've been delaying this one a bit too long. The BT-7 was much easier to do. And I kind of felt bad for Rommel having to wait so long. But I'm afraid I can't help it, mate. Um, with the event, Sweden's been spammed. And with the amount of team-killing assholes, there's only so much you can do, I'm afraid. So, obviously, with us being in the BS-180, it's highly likely we're going to get targeted. And that's putting that simple. I had to laugh though. Um, these last few days I've been getting some proper silly comments, which I'm actually going to be doing an episode on dumb comments at some point. And, oh, one user. He came onto my Hawk 3 review, and I'm not going to spoil what he said, but basically he didn't like the fact that I did commentary over the review like you should. <laughs> Some people, eh? Some people. You can see why I've waited to get Erwin Rommel's request out later. Simply due to the fact that Russian teams are just so bad. Okay, US Key 61, P39. Got a big friend coming our way. Hopefully, he should ignore us. Because I don't really want to engage a big. A big Sven in a BS-180. It's too fragile. I'm very screaming for cover. I can try, but... 
Right. We'll go for the B-25 since he's got more guns and better positioning of those guns. And there's another problem with the, the BS-180. I spark no matter what. Sure, I got a crit, but that's not really going to mean much. Okay, J21's pulling up, which means he can one-tap us. Pop the, the takeoff flaps to bring it around. Kill assist on the B25. That's the ticket. And he's going for the kill steal. Of course he is. That's what you deserve. Okay, point taken. Don't cover that guy. P38G up there, that's concerning. Let's see if we can help with a Spitfire. There's a reduced speed warning. That tends to kick in a little earlier, so we're actually kind of lucky there. Come on, team, I'm baiting them up. Here comes P38. Nah, we're not catching that son of a bitch. Look at him go. Critical with a long range burst. Didn't mean to press the B key, I meant to press the C key. P63 should be able to handle that. Okay, for some reason they've got a fury. I don't know why this is the case, but this Russian team is actually starting to pull this out of the bag. Did we get the assist for that? Yes, we did. Perfect. Now, just because it's a fury doesn't mean we're going to underestimate it. Where is that Peshka going? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to underestimate the fury. I'm going to engage him with more guns, because it's a fury. You never know. Those little shits might have the best ping in the world and they'll one tap you. you. You just don't know. The thing is though, half the team is trying to engage this fury. Let's do a bit of a throttle back here. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was a bit too close for comfort. Let's proceed on. I'm watching you, mate. I am watching you. Don't think I'm not. Okay, so let's get over to the enemy's main airfield. There's only three left. But they're big Svens. And one other that I don't know about. And now the Russian team is doing what they do best, farm. But to be honest, at this point, I don't blame them. Now, I think I know what the fighter was. I think it was a P-61. But like I say, I don't know. Hmm. One way is looking a little quiet. So where the hell are they gone? Okay, what I think we'll do is, is we'll go over and assist the team with farming. Because all they care about right now is farming unlike all their railway carriages. They're not actually going for pillboxes. The pillbox is what we need to win, because we're down on tickets. Not by much, but we still need to get tickets in our favour. The BS-180 has the guns to do it, so I'm not really that fast, but... Even so, like... It's still something to consider, and at the end of the day, if we can pop the pillboxes, we might as well, because we're going to lose at this rate. And there's a triple A piece down here, so we'll pull up into the vertical and see if we can bag it on the way through. And that's stuck in the house. Perfect positioning by Gaijin. Okay, so, still got a couple of enemy planes left, and I don't know where the fighter is. But since we're down on 
tickets anyway, I might as well go for the bill box, as I mentioned. Two kills, two assists so far. This team is actually doing pretty dang well. I've got to give them that. They've done well. We had have kept an arsehole in his LA5 who tried to steal our kill earlier. That's an exception, but you get my point. So we need at least two pillboxes to get ahead of the enemy team. And there we go. That's one. If you're wondering why it took so few rounds, it's because the AI was working over that one. Are you really trying to pop heavy tanks? Well, they're Panthers, but... Are you really trying that? Ugh. Russian teams. Losing brain cells since 2015. There's a reason why I'm saying that. Because I started in 2015. I started playing more than in 2015. Do, 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 do. Here we go. I'll fire the 50 cows for this one. Oh, we're winning anyway, but we might as well go for the last one. And then maybe make our way towards their airfield, because we've still got ammo to kill them, but even so. For anyone that's curious, traces on the 762s, air targets on the 127s. Is there anything left? I don't think so. Right, well, I think I'm going to cut to... I'll either cut to the end, or I'll cut to an interesting part of the battle after I pop this triple AP, so... Well, if I can, because we know how they're positioning lately. Oh, I can kill that one. Perfect. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. There you go. The stomach has a barn mule. Anyway, I'll see you in a few. Well, welcome back to the hangar. It turned out to be a win. We just had to fly around until it ended up being a draw due to a BA team managed to sneak through at space altitude in typical fashion and bombing one of our bases, which was remaining. So like I say, the BS-180 can work. I just... I'm, I'm not having as much fun in it anymore as I did when I first got it. So it's a nice plane, but... Would I suggest flying it over something else that could be at 3.0, like Porky's or the P-39K? Personally, no. It just doesn't have the ammunition capacity to really... Well, I mean, it, it does for the for some parts, but at the same time, it doesn't. And personally, I just have better results in a Cobra or something like a Yak, simply due to the fact that I'm more used to the Yaks, and I know the limits of the Yak, where the BS-180 is... It feels like it changes every day, to be brutally honest, but... It's still a good plane. I'm glad I've got it in my hangar, and most importantly, we had a good match, although we did have someone try and chaos in typical fashion. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's sub-request by Owen Rommel for the BS-180, and I will catch you all on the next one.